How do you make money with penny stocks? Penny stocks generally cost less to purchase because they are newer and riskier than other stocks on the market. These stocks might have a good chance of being profitable, but savvy investors should be well informed about what makes a good penny stock before considering a potential investment. While it might take some work, there are a few things you can look out for in order to find lucrative investments. Luckily for you, Fortune Fast Laner, we have prepared all the details you need to know on how you can make money with penny stocks. Remember that while the first step is completing any of these amazing courses, the second and possibly more important step is taking action even if it's imperfect action. Let's get this video started! First, what is penny stocks? Penny stocks are shares of small companies with a market capitalization under $300 million. Because of their size, they also go by the same name micro-cap stocks or nano-cap stocks. The term comes from the idea that the size is a penny on the stock exchange which is representative of equity. The actual value at the date of brand was 0.02 cents. Penny stocks can be traded on major exchanges, although they are often traded exclusively on over-the-counter exchanges. In the penny stock market, word-of-mouth marketing and pumping are the norm. One downside is that you might struggle to find a stock with good liquidity because there is often a low trading volume for penny stocks since penny stocks are typically associated with smaller companies. When the market turns, it can be difficult to find a stock that accurately reflects its true value. Additionally, investors may have difficulty finding out if there's a good buy in the penny stocks. It's best to stay aware of this before making a purchase because they can provide false returns. Before long, these small companies could be market-leading competitors. For instance, during the early days of the COVID pandemic, a small company called Novavax, Nasdaq and Vax, was working on an influenza treatment candidate. Then they flipped back to work on a potential coronavirus vaccine. As shares went from under $5 to over $300 in just 30 days after its discovery, penny stocks are companies that were greatly undervalued. Ape refers to the adolescent perfectionist pattern of underestimating a near-term threat. The identification and subsequent breakout from these stocks has happened many times before and is often linked to severe milestones. AMC Entertainment and GameStop are two notable examples, with both stocks rising sharply to levels over $480 in the case of AMC stock. This is not typical or likely, but it does happen by applying the right conditions and techniques for identifying such opportunities. So how do top investors make money from buying penny stocks? If you don't have tens of thousands of dollars to invest in shares of Facebook or Twitter but want to generate income, the next best option may be penny stocks. It's good to know some tactics before you dive right in. It's also essential to understand the risk associated with trading penny stocks and how these types of stocks can quickly jump up in price. With blue chip companies like Apple or General Motors, you'll see a seemingly small move in stock price. But if that same type of change happens in a penny stock, it can be significant. Users of penny stocks are often looking to buy more shares while they're at a lower price point to make significant gains based on smaller moves in the price of the stock. It's essential that you're aware of this risk and have strategies in place to minimize your exposure before investing any hard-earned money through these sources. Now that you have a better understanding of penny stocks, it's time to start developing your specific strategy. With these stocks being very risky and volatile investments, you need to trade smart. Keep in mind these are not guarantees, but these are the rules you should keep in mind. Number 1. The company should have substantial assets. Newbie investors may come across skyrocketing penny stocks. However, many of these can be fly-by-night schemes. These companies will typically have little to no assets or cash and boatloads of debt. It's better to invest in penny stocks when you find a company with substantial assets rather than hunt for a business that is only looking to pump their shares into the market. Number 2. The company should have a plan. When investing in a penny stock, it's important to look for companies with significant public information. This will alert investors if the company is legitimate. This is how you can run against the built-in risk, namely those that come from little or no company information and poor financial planning. Number 3. Beware of too-good-to-be-true projections 
Beware of companies that release good news because it can often be too good to be true and avoid any company guidance if it sounds overly optimistic. You're better off ensuring you research the company using the two methods listed above in combination with your due diligence, help recognize if their claims are actually true. Speculating on optimistic company updates for day trading can be a catalyst for short-term stock market movements. Today, retail traders are taking a larger role in the market and have leaned on guesstimating market moves more than relying on fundamental research specifically. To trade penny stocks successfully, you need to use technical scanners to find the best stocks with a high probability of making a big move. Most traders rely on solid fundamentals as their guide without fail, but it's also helpful to research how much legitimacy your business has. When looking for good penny stocks, you need to consider things like how likely the company will keep your principal safe and make money. Some good companies worth looking into are microcaps. In order to build a penny stock scanner, you would want to include the following parameters. Number 1. Share float Production is equal to the total number of shares in a publicly traded float or market. This figure includes everything in retail shareholder circulation. The figure is calculated by removing the shares held by insiders' employees from the overall outstanding shares. In general, the lower the float, the fewer shares are available for trade at any given time. Higher levels of buying interest could drive prices up quickly. Number 2. Scan for Penny Stock News If companies are making announcements, you can use Penny Stock News to push up the price on any company's share. Penny stock news is typically met with a positive reaction and a rise in stock value. Number 3. Penny Stock Volume Scan Find penny stocks with a higher volume. Traditionally, the higher the relative volume, the more this indicates that there will be more traders who can watch and potentially buy or sell trading in the company. The increased variation in trading will have marked potential for both an institutional investor and a trader looking to buy low or sell high. Number 4. Short Squeeze Penny Stocks When stocks are squeezed, their volatility typically increases, and that can lead to substantial price movement. For example, AMC Stock and GME demonstrate this type of volatile price movements. AMC Stock was one such stock that many traders shorted as it surged from $4.60 to a high of $7.77 in 5 weeks. When someone short lets go of a stock, they make a bet and the profits were taken from that bet. To guarantee their profit, they borrow shares and sell them into the market. At some point, when the stock has dropped enough, they can buy back their shares and return them to their broker. The number of borrowed shares doesn't matter in this trading strategy. People trading stocks who are shorting will find a unique benefit. The stock market can go up for short-term traders but lose value for long-term investors. While short-term traders were profitable, long-term investors lost money on the deal. Be aware that you may or may not be in this situation as a trader, so talk to your personal broker before taking any trading actions. Another thing, you should look for brokers who won't charge high fees if the share price falls below a certain level as well as for brokers that offer fewer fees for trade volume. Nonetheless, there are brokers that don't enforce these surcharges and allow you to trade penny stock prices on the major exchanges. Number 5. Penny Stocks with Unusual Options Volume If you don't know how to trade penny stocks, it might be worth taking a closer look at what some of their options are doing. Although the stock is considered cheap already, the options might still matter. Looking to see who's trading the stock and what they're doing with those options can shed light on smart money sentiment and give you an indication of where a good buying opportunity may present itself. Number 6. Microcap Growth and Trading Volume Penny stocks should have growth that is statistically as strong as their 52-week highs since it's not expected to take one year for a penny stock to rise in value. You might want to pass on these shares. If you want to take a risk and are having success with a microcap that has a small supply but could be unsustainable in the future, go for it. There's no real point though, investing in stocks that have already been around for years. These companies will offer a high volume of stocks for trading. To find these companies, it's important to focus on penny stocks with a high trading order. Number 7. Penny Stock Prices it's recommended to only invest in stocks with a market cap of at least $50 per share. You can find less risky stocks by looking for the ones trading over $0.50 cents per share. 
These are generally startups selling stock in a crowdfunded public auction that have been successful without getting any real reviews or feedback on their product, service, or service model. When evaluating a penny stock purchase, do your homework and verify their financials. As there are more sophisticated protections in place for taxation, operations ending with debt default is less likely. Furthermore, if you can't find an in-depth reporting of the company's financials, then you should look elsewhere. Number 8. Finding a Penny Stock With many of the large brokerage firms offering penny stock services, you can find a stock on the pink sheets. There are other options for finding stocks as well such as with brokerage like TD Ameritrade who offer OTC and pink sheet trading within their online platforms. When you find a penny stock with potential, sometimes you should be cautious in buying it. Follow a particular stock for a week or so to see how it's traded and what the volume is like. Look for volatile price and share activity and set yourself up for success before you jump in at the perfect time. Number 9. Penny Stock Advertising and Fraud Especially during economically disruptive times, unscrupulous people often use the micro-cap market to solicit funds from uneducated investors. These nefarious entrepreneurs usually exploit significant events such as natural disasters or economic crashes to appropriate as much capital as possible. Whenever someone is contacting you to purchase a stock of a company they're selling, be cautious because they likely are trying to sell you something that isn't advertised as good. There may be reasons to go with the stock such as trading it for possible profits when it rises in value. But stay vigilant around some of the more unscrupulous promoters. If you're reviewing anything the Securities and Exchange Commission considers a penny stock, be sure to read what disclosure notices are included. This is a mandatory requirement for penny stocks. Penny stocks are infamous for creating a sales pitch to inflate their price with false claims from people who profess to be objective, non-biased investing experts. The key indicators to focus on when considering a penny stock are the company's financial statements and its history of making money, paying its bills, and being traded by other investors. Now, what are the risks of investing in penny stocks? Penny stocks with a low market capitalization often hire promoters to convince investors that the company is going to be successful and worth investing in. They exaggerate their uses of capital and how quickly they are to grow. When there is an overpromotion of penny stocks, this may point to a pump and dump scheme. When traders purchase stocks at very low prices and make exaggerated statements about the potential value of the stock, others become excited and buy in until they realize that the price rose after the hype. The share price goes down which forces everyone involved to take a loss. Penny stocks exist on the over-the-counter market rather than the large stock exchanges like the Nasdaq or the New York Stock Exchange. This means companies can avoid regulatory oversight and reporting requirements as long as they list their trading exchange. For instance, many companies with penny stocks don't even have to report their financials or register with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. It's difficult to research a company, a crucial step in investing wisely. Certain companies that sell penny stocks are struggling or even facing legal troubles. With that said, it's not surprising why certain companies may want to try to keep the financials hidden from potential investors by avoiding offering information about the company's earnings or other crucial financial data. If you can't find information about the company's financials in reasonable time and it does not reassure about you buying the stocks, then it would be better for you to move on. However, not all penny stocks are behind schemes. The stock market is a pressure-filled environment with excitement and promise on one hand and risk and turmoil on the other. Some companies have good potential while others seem to be in bad shape but may come up with a rebound. Many countries are required to have a financial regulatory authority that oversees things like stocks as well as information on the entity that issued their stocks or media. If you can't find any substantial financial data about the entity, it's best to file a report with those organizations not to worry about the stock and leave it alone. Penny stocks involve risk because they sell low and the promoter may fail to deliver on promised returns. Always do your research and invest in companies with substantial evidence backing up their potential for growth. The best way to weather a storm is by diversifying your portfolio, so make sure you have several different investments to protect yourself from risk. That's it for this video, Fortune Fastlaner. Remember to subscribe to our channel and if you feel like we've delivered value, 
please share this video with one person. That's right, just one person as a token of your appreciation for the hard work we put into making content that educates and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. Remember, you can watch video after video but it isn't until you actually take action that you'll start to see results. See you soon!